you know who I am? I am the paddy seed. I give you the rice that you eat every day. I flourish in a hot and humid climate. I grow in places which have high rainfall or where my field may be flooded with water from a nearby well or river. In Tamil Nadu, I grow in coastal wetlands and in the fertile clay soil along the river banks. Do you know there are some kinds of paddy that can grow with very little water or even in salt water? Let us see the different stages of the cultivation of rice. The fields are prepared by ploughing. The seeds are sown on the seedling beds. After some days, they are transplanted by hand in the fields and flooded by rain or river water. Weeds are removed. The crops are irrigated till they grow. Grains are fully covered with brown husk. The paddy is ready for harvest. The paddy is threshed to loosen the husk. It is taken to the mill and the husk is removed. Finally, it is taken to the market for sale. How do we get sugar? From the sugar plant, the sugar cane is cut into pieces. The cut pieces of sugar cane are carried by truck to sugar mills. There, the extraction of sugar is done the baggies and the residue are removed and the sugar is made in different shapes and sizes. Sugarcane grows well in a hot and humid climate. It needs clayey wet soil. It is mainly grown in areas where there is plenty of water. Ragi, millet, Kambu, maize. Ragi has calcium that helps in the formation of bones and teeth. It is called finger millet because of the finger-like branches on the plant. Kambu is called pearl millet because the grains look like pearls. Our country is a big producer of kambu. Foxtail millet or tinai is another ancient grain of India. It is extremely good for health. Whole grain gruel. It is very important to have nutritious food every day. The most nutritious breakfast is whole grain gruel. It is a mixture of many grains and cereals in semi-liquid form. It tastes good when jaggery is added to it. Pulses We can prepare idli, dosa, vada, sambar etc. from these pulses. Here are some common pulses rich in protein. We include pulses in our daily food. Black gram, moong dal, green gram, bengal gram, tuwar dal. Greens Include greens in your food. You might notice that all these greens have Tamil names. They are being used from ancient times. Minerals and vitamins are present in greens. They give strength and energy to our body. Murungai, 
தூதுவளை சிறுகீரை மணத்தக்காளி வல்லாரை அகத்திக்கீரை வெந்தயக்கீரை பசலை கீரை முளக்கீரை பொன்னாங்கண்ணி ஸ்பைசஸ் we use them every day in our cooking now let us look at the medicinal value of common spices perungayam asafoetida milagu pepper jeeragam cumin seeds kadugu mustard and dhania coriander seeds aid digestion pound garlic is good for respiratory problems it kills intestinal worms karvepilai curry leaves is good for the hair and the eyes manjal turmeric is a powerful antiseptic it kills intestinal worms inji fresh ginger is good for treating nausea chilies are of various kinds high in vitamin c and minerals ask your grandmother to tell you all the medicinal uses of spices that she knows make a little booklet of her remedies eat healthy food we work we play we think and we write the internal organs of our body are continuously working we need energy we get energy from food it also helps us to grow it is very important to have nutritious food every day It would be good for you to have at least 1 glass of milk every day. Cereals like rice and wheat, millets like ragi and cholam, pulses like tuvarai, red gram dal and pachai payir, green gram dal and oil seeds like yellu, sesam and nilakadale groundnut are used daily in our kitchen to make healthy food how do we get our food the food that people ate traditionally depended on the crops that were cultivated in the place where they lived the crops depended on the climate and soil today with the growth of towns and cities many people don't grow their own crops apart from farming people have also reared cows goats and sheep poultry and caught fish along with rice pulses vegetables and fruits milk meat fish eggs and farm produce are carried by trucks and lorries to the common market from the bazaar it is taken to small shops for sale we buy them from the common market and also from small traders using these products of the farm different varieties of food are prepared and served on pongal day sweet pongal is prepared with rice jaggery ghee and cashew nut for navaratri festival varieties of grams or dal are soaked in water and cooked for christmas cakes and pastries are made from wheat and milk products for bakreed 
Biryani is prepared with meat and eggs. Shall we drink fruit juice? Take a lemon. Cut it into two pieces. Squeeze out the juice. Add two to three cups of water. Mix well with three to four spoons of sugar. Add a pinch of salt. Lemon juice is ready. A healthy drink on a hot day. You can also prepare orange juice by the same method. Fill in the blanks. Food is one of the basic needs of all living beings. Early human beings were first hunters and food gatherers. Much of the food we eat in Tamil Nadu is prepared out of rice. Ragi has calcium that helps in the formation of bones and teeth. Whole grain gruel is a mixture of many grains and cereals in semi-liquid form. Manjal turmeric is a powerful antiseptic. It kills intestinal worms. People who help us we need the services and cooperation of all people in a society to live in peace and happiness. Here are some services we are going to learn about. Indian scientist and former president of India, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam replies to letters or greetings sent to him by school children. This is a reply from him to a class 3 student K. Janani of Anichimpalayam Panchayat Union Middle School. How do we get letters from distant places? You will wonder how a letter reaches our friends and relatives. Now let us observe the services of the postman. The post office is an important place in our neighborhood. We buy stamps, envelope, postcards and money order forms from the post office. We send and receive letters and parcels through the post office. We can also send urgent messages through telegrams and parcels through speed post. The journey of a letter. We post the letters in the letter box. The letter box is red in color. Letters are collected in a bag from the letter box. They are sent to the main post office. The sorter separates the letters. Then the letters are sent to different places by air, land or sea. A postman or a postwoman delivers the letters to the address written on the letter. The development of information technology has reduced the usage of letters and telegrams. Exchange of information and messages takes place mostly through email using computers and cell phones. Bank Learn to save money Banks help us to save money and also get back money whenever we need it. It is safe to keep money in the bank. Banks also provide us with safety lockers to keep our valuable things. 
national banks and cooperative banks help us to save, borrow and repay the money. Name some of the banks that you know. Automatic Teller Machine This is the automatic teller machine. We can use an ATM card to withdraw money from our bank account at any time. It functions 24 hours a day and 7 days a week. Most people get loans from the bank for many of their activities. Find out how to use pay in slip, check and demand drafts. People work to earn money for their needs and to contribute to their society. This we call as their profession or job. The people of the society in which we live are doing different types of work. But we live together in a society. All professions are interrelated and interdependent. Tailors stitch clothes. Masons construct houses and other buildings. A carpenter makes doors, windows and other fittings. A plumber fits and repairs the pipes for water supply and sanitation. A welder welds metal to make grills for windows and doors. The teacher teaches you to read and write. The washerman washes and irons your clothes. The sweeper cleans your surroundings. Can you think of any other public service? We need someone to give us medicine when we are sick said the teacher. My mother is an assistant nursing midwife, A&M. She visits many villages once a week to give medicines to the sick people, said Arul. Can nurses give medicines? asked Meena. Well, they are trained to do so, said the teacher. We find government hospitals in towns and cities. A small neighborhood has a primary health center, PHC, which benefits the people of the village. Mobile dispensaries help the people who do not have hospitals or primary health centers in their villages. Nurses are also trained to visit villages. Is the treatment free? asked Raju. Yes, all government hospitals and primary health centers give free treatment. Doctors and nurses take care of patients in government hospitals and primary health centers, said the teacher. There are doctors to treat sick birds and animals. So they are called veterinarians. How can we help them to help us better? We can separate the waste materials into biodegradable and non-degradable, said Natasha. We must not throw the waste into gutters, said Rani. We must not spit or throw rubbish on the road, said Balu. You are good citizens, said the teacher with a smile. You help us all to think, said Natasha with a smile. Public sector undertakings belong to the government. Their functions and proceedings are common to all the people. 
water is supplied to houses in cities, towns and villages from different sources. Panchayats, municipalities and corporations take care of supplying good drinking water to our house. Power supply is provided by the Tamil Nadu Electricity Board TNEB. Cities, towns and villages are provided with electricity. It is also supplied to industries and factories. Panchayats have Panchayat Union. Towns have municipalities. Cities have corporations. All these facilities which are common to the public are made available to you. One of the basic needs of man is water. The executive officer of the panchayats or municipalities takes the responsibility of providing water in common tanks wherever there is water shortage. Ration shop PDS A fair price shop is a public distribution system. It is also called a ration shop. We can get food grains, pulses, oil and kerosene from the ration shop at a price lower than the market price. One must have a ration card for buying these things from the shop. We go every month to the ration shop and buy our provisions. They are called fair price shops because they do not sell to make profit. The trained people of fire service will put out the fire and save people and property when there is a fire. When there are natural disasters like cyclones, floods and earthquakes, we get the help from the fire service. Do you know who maintains law and order? The policemen maintain law and order. They look after our property. When we have lost any valuables, we make a complaint at the police station. We feel safe because the policemen are on duty round the clock. There are all women police stations too. The policeman registers our complaints and takes action. He takes care of public safety. People in Army, Navy and Air Force protect our country. Fill in the blanks. We need the services and cooperation of all people in society to live in peace and happiness. We send and receive letters and parcels through the post office. Bank helps us to save money and also get back money whenever we need it. We use the ATM card to withdraw money from our bank account at any time. Doctors and nurses take care of patients in government hospitals and primary health centers. Power supply is provided by the Tamil Nadu Electricity Board TNEB. The policeman takes care of public safety. Our district. Mala was excited and busy in helping her parents at home and rearranging her room when she came to know that her uncle and aunt 
were coming to her house for the first time from abroad. To find Mala's house, they should know Mala's country, state, district, city, place, street and house number. Now let us know about our district. There are 32 districts in Tamil Nadu. They are Tiruvallur, Chennai, Kanchipuram, Vellore, Tiruvannamalai, Krishnagiri, Dharmapuri, Virupuram, Kadalur, Salem, Erode, Nilgiris, Coimbatore, Tirupur, Karur, Namakkal, Perambalur, Ariyalur, Nagapattinam, Tiruvarur, Tanjavur, Tiruchirapalli, Pudukkottai, Dindirkal, Teni, Madurai, Sivagangai, Virudunagar, Ramanadapuram, Tirunalveli, Tutukudi, Kanyakumari. You can take a calendar of the year. Record the weather every day. Here are symbols to record the weather hot, windy and cloudy. At the end of the year, find the months which are hot, windy and cloudy. With the help of this weather record, we can learn about the seasonal changes. Each district is famous for what it produces. For example, Salem is famous for mangoes. Dindical is famous for lock. Tanjore is famous for paddy. Namakal is famous for egg. Some of the tourist places in Tamil Nadu are Jinji Fort, Marina Beach, Kutralam Waterfalls, Nilgiri Botanical Garden, Nagur Darga, Velankani Church, Pamban Bridge, Kanyakumari Thiruvalluvar Statue, Tutukudi Harbour, Kalanai Dam, Tanjai Periya Kovil, Brahadishwara Temple. A visit to Mahapalipuram. Kannagi and her classmates were excited when their teacher announced a visit to Mahabalipuram. She is studying in class 3 in a school in North Chennai. Her mother packed chapatis and variety rice for her to eat at Mahabalipuram. It was a cloudy day and a pleasant breeze was blowing. A Tamil Nadu Tourism and Development Corporation bus was arranged for the trip. A guide was also there in the bus. The bus started at 8 a.m. Children were very happy to occupy their seats in the bus. The guide introduced himself as Mr. Vasant and welcomed the children. He wished them a pleasant journey. The bus went along the East Coast Road from Chennai. The guide told them that they were travelling along the coast of the Bay of Bengal. Kannagi looked at the sea on her left. It was beautiful on that cloudy day. The guide showed them the picturesque backwaters of Muttukadu when they were crossing the bridge. Children were singing all the way and enjoying the journey. They reached Mahapalipuram at 9.30 a.m. 
Now the guide started describing the historical place. Mamalaburam was once a port city of the Pallavas. The rock cut temples were built by Mahendra Varman I. His son Mamalan or Narashima Varman continued to build more rock cut temples and structured shrines at Mahabalipuram. The shore temples and rock carvings were built during the reign of Narashima Varman. Mahapalipuram was once a flourishing port town of the Pallava rulers. Now it is a famous tourist spot. It is around 57 kilometers south of Chennai. The guide took them to see the shore temple the five radhas, the old and new lighthouses, Thirumurthi caves, Varaha and tiger caves, beach and the sculpture training center. The temple carved out of a single large rock makes Mahabalipuram special. There are also beautiful hillside stone reliefs, said the guide. They found some letters on the rock. What are these scripts? asked Kannagi. They are some of the oldest known Devanagari and Tamil Grantham scripts, said the guide. Does it mean that there were people here before the Pallavas? asked Tanu. Of course, said the guide. Every part of our land has an ancient history. Look at this panel. You can find a pious cat praying to fool the mice to come closer, said the guide. People in those days had a sense of humor too. Another relief inside a hall with pillars all carved out of a rock showed Krishna holding up a hillock to protect his fellow villagers from heavy thunderstorms, said the guide. The children saw a giant natural rock balanced on the slope of a hillside. It's quite amazing, said Kannagi's classmate Vetrivel in excitement. Then they went to see the Pancharadas, that is, the five chariots. These are five monolithic temples in the shape of chariots, each made in a different style and named after a character from the Mahabharata, said the guide. I have read the story of the Mahabharata in comics. How creative ancient people were, said Kanagi. Now it's time for lunch. Let us have lunch, said the teacher. The children sat down, forming a circle. They exchanged their food and had their lunch happily. The guide then took the children to the lighthouse and the sculpture museum. The children climbed the old lighthouse. It's breathtaking, Kannagi said, as they had a view from the lighthouse. I do not mind being a caretaker of this lighthouse, said her friend Alicia, echoing her own feelings. The museum has many sculptures. Finally, they visited the Shaw Temple. Many people had come to see this beautiful place. Foreigners, students, parents and children. The teacher and the children spent some time on the silvery sandy beaches. There were also shops selling beautiful conches and shells. Kannagi and her friends 
bought one each for their mothers. The teacher and the children thanked the guide Mr. Vasanth. They all returned home in the evening. Is there any tourist spot in your district? Arrange the trip, visit and enjoy. Fill in the blanks. There are 32 districts in Tamil Nadu. The shore temples and rock carvings were built during the reign of Narasimha Varman. Mahabalipuram was once a flourishing port town of the Pallava rulers. The Pancharadas were named after a character from the Mahabharata. Match the following. Salem, Mangoes, Dindukal, Lok, Tanjore, Paddy, Namakal, Egg, Tirunalveli, Alva. The five physiographical divisions of ancient Tamil Nadu. Animals, plants, birds and insects are co-travelers with us on this beautiful earth. Some animals live in water. Some animals live both on land and in water. And some live only on land. There are both terrestrial and water plants. A landscape is an area of land which is unique because of its weather, nature of the land and soil, plants, trees and creepers that grow in that particular habitat. Animals and birds live and adapt themselves to the environment. Tamil literature has classified our land into five landscapes. Each of these was named after a flower. The five landscapes are described as Kurunji or the landscape of mountains, Mullai or the landscape of forests, Marudam or the landscape of the agricultural fields, Nadal or the landscape of coastal regions and Palai or the landscape of dry lands. Kurunji, mountainous region. I am Solayamma from the Kolli Hills. Ours is a hilly area, so mornings and evenings here are cool and misty. I would love to tell you about the animals, birds, trees, fruits and flowers in our landscape. In our hills, we have lakes, waterfalls and streams. There are many old trees like red sanders, vengai, flame of the forest, purasai, teak, bamboo, sandalwood and Indian rosewood, sisu. Hill bananas which taste good are still grown in the Sirumalai hills in Dindukal. The name of the region Kurunji is also the name of the famous Kurunji flower which blooms in the Nilgiri hills of Tamil Nadu. These hills are also famous for the nimble Nilgiri Thar mountain goat. The shrub whose brilliant blue and white flowers blossom for only a few days once every 12 years blankets the slopes in radiant color. The tribals are ancient inhabitants of this land and have gathered leaves roots, fruits and honey in the forests. Flowers like Kandal, Glory Lily, the Rose and the Lotus thrive in the cool air that is fragrant 
with many rare medicinal herbs. The great hornbill calls from the thick forest and the peacock dances with the first rains. Hunting wild animals is prohibited in our forests. Many elephants roam there. One of them has come to talk to you. I am the largest mammal in our country. I travel long distances to find water and food. Nowadays people have started farming and building houses across my path and I have lost my habitat. I am also poached for my tusks. Mullai Forest Region Hi, I am Nandini and I live in Satyamangalam. We are shepherds and cow herds and our wealth is our cattle. My father takes the cattle to graze early in the morning and returns at noon. My mother sells curd and buttermilk. The climate is mild and rainy and there are many rivers and streams in our landscape. There are thick old forest trees here and also trees and plants that people have planted for their animals. The palmyra the coconut, the arica and the banana share space with the jackfruit, jamun, mango, neem and tamarind trees. Pearl millet kambu, finger millet ragi and sorghum cholam are also cultivated here. There are many animals and birds like the barbet, jungle fowl, flying squirrel, fox, wolf and wild bees. But with the shrinking forests, most of the deer have gone. The spotted deer has come to talk to you. As my name suggests, I have white spots on a fawn red colored coat. Only the males have antlers. Most of my grazing areas have gone. I have been killed for my antlers and eaten for my meat. Only a few of us survive today at the forest's edge. Marudam, cropland, plains and river basins. My name is Devan. The Marudam landscape gets its name from the flower of the myrtle or Arjuna, Marudam tree. I am from Pattamadai. This is a beautiful place with the river Tamaraparani flowing through our fertile lands and irrigating our fields. Our landscape is flat and rivers flow slowly depositing rich soil for our farms. A kind of grass called the Kore grass grows along the river banks and when it is dry people make mats out of it. Most of us are farmers. We have warm seasonal rains that help us to cultivate almost any crop on our fields. Many types of paddy, pulses, oil seeds, millets, cotton and where possible even sugar cane. Do you know people in the Sangam period knew how to extract sugar cane juice? In our landscape, people have found many ways of storing water and Marudam land is dotted with lakes, yeris, ponds, uranis and tanks. People have used bulls to plough the land and also catch and eat many kinds of fish from the rivers and ponds. Snakes like the cobra are found in this region. 
they control rats which are a pest in our fields here is one to talk to you i am always alert in thick jungles and in the farms i catch rats and save the crops you rarely see me because i sense the vibrations of your steps through my body i live in holes and termite mounds it is in your hands to plant trees and make the croplands more fertile your teacher has marked the fertile areas in tamil nadu on a map nadal seashore coastal regions my name is anthony i come from nagapatnam tamil nadu has a very large coastal area the people who lived and continue to live here are the fisher folk this tinai or landscape gets its name from the water lily that used to grow in the backwaters of rivers as they met the sea tarampu and magirampu were also found in this region the nets and boats drawn up on the beach and the odor of drying fish attract many seabirds like the gull tern and heron Many different varieties of fish are caught and sold. Sharks, whales, kavalai and sea horses are some of the fish I know. There were many busy harbors in the ancient days where Indian pepper and cardamom were sent in ships across the sea to be sold in foreign lands. even today this area has many important ports there are many marshes which are wetlands along the coast where the great indian marsh crocodile used to live as you know it is wetlands that provide us with fresh sweet water by recharging the ground water Sea turtles to this day lay their eggs on the beaches along the Tamil Nadu coastline. Here is a turtle that has come to talk to you. I am an olive ridley turtle. I am also called Panguni ame because I nest along the coast of Tamil Nadu during January, February and March. I am a reptile and I live in the sea. Do keep the beaches safe for me. Marshland. A low-lying wetland with grassy vegetation which is usually a transition zone between land and water. Backwaters are areas of stagnant water formed by backflow from a body of water. Palay, dry lands, wastelands. In Tamil Nadu there are no deserts but there are dry lands. Dry land farming has been done in Tamil Nadu for a long time. people have learned to live in hot and dry conditions and save every drop of water horses some cattle wolves tigers and many kinds of lizards are some animals to be found in this landscape plants like the cactus thorny bushes and palm trees and dry land crops like millets cholam and kambu oil seeds like the sunflower groundnut sesam and pulses like green gram and black gram grew here fruits like dates figs guavas and pomegranates are available here 
There are also dry land herbs like aloe vera and hardy trees like drumstick, murungai and the karuvelam which grow well here. Birds of prey like vultures, hawks and kites are the natural birds of this landscape. Palai is a landscape where the wells have gone dry, the groundwater has become salty, the ponds have become dirty and unusable, the soil is unfit for plants and human beings find it very hard to live. Today, we need to be careful and protect our environment. Let us take care of our soil and water and keep the air clean. Let us not fill our earth with waste. Let us take care of the other creatures that share this beautiful world with us. Let us plant trees and take care of our forests. Fill in the blanks. Tamil literature has classified our land into five landscapes. Kurunji flower blooms in the Nilagiri hills of Tamil Nadu. Marudam is the landscape of agricultural fields. Palai refers to dry lands and wastelands. A low-lying wetland with grassy vegetation is known as marshland. Our feathered friends. Let us study some of our feathered friends. The common babbler. The common babblers are ancient inhabitants of Tamil Nadu. They are called seven sisters or seven brothers because they are usually seen in groups of six to ten. They chatter and chirp. They live on insects, grain, nectar and berries. They are social birds and take care of each other. The miner. The miner belongs to the starling family of birds. It is dark brown with yellow markings on its head. Its beak is famous for its bright yellow color. This bird too is a native of this landscape and is found everywhere in Tamil Nadu. It is also a good